Now let's make today's starting lineup first for the Lion Badger. And we are going to do three marks. Number 31, Melissa Sammons. Assistant coaches for the officials for today's game are David Trippin, Russ Kimball.
What was the, you know, was it just nerves? Was it unexpected? Um, I think it's just nerves and like just getting in the bigger gym. We've we've had trouble with presses before, but like our new press breaker helped to like settle settle us down. And I think after like a first little bit, we kind of like figured it out. And then once you figured it out, you just went off. Yeah. <laughs> How much fun was that? Just just to to feel the game kind of flow that way. And I know on any night it can be anyone's anyone's day, but it was yours today. It was so oh, amazing. It was best feeling in the world. <laughs> And that clock was at went zero, zero, zero. What was your first reaction? I was like, this isn't real. Like, we're, we didn't just win. <laughs> and then when it, like, hit me, I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> After last year and just the way that the, the season ended, I know everyone had that feeling of unfinished business. How important was it to, to be in this environment for girls? so important i feel like it was very hard after like it just being canceled and we're just done and i feel like everyone really stepped up and we like this year we were like this is it we're gonna we're gonna do it what does it say to the job that coach o'dwyer and everyone did i mean when i was talking to him he started balling like a baby you can tell him i said that but uh uh what, what about the job that he and the staff and really the whole team did amazing like um coach was worked really hard about like watching film he spent hours and hours and like picking out what we need to do to like help with each team to take it one game at a time and then the team just stepped up like it was amazing to see how from the beginning of the season to the end even though it was short like how much we've improved and how many people stepped up this is a state trophy you can never take away what's it mean to be part of history you're gonna be on the shelves of, of your school forever what's it mean to be part of history it's amazing it is so cool i literally like amazing <laughs> how how fearless do you have to play when you have three fouls early in the third i mean are you still trying to play the same way or are you trying to play as aggressive i i have to back off a little bit because like three fouls i don't want to get my fourth one but then I still try to play hard because if I get a fourth one, it's it is what it is. Coach like, has a lot of faith in you girls to to put you in that situation. Is that where do you feel like you have to reward them in that? Yes. You know, the boys have a chance to win a state championship too. What would it mean for you two schools to go back to back uh, as boys and girls? It would be the best thing ever, and it would be so cool just to like, have both teams just be pushing so hard, especially like. After a short season, it was just, it'd be awesome. What's it say about Lyman basketball for a small town like you to, to have to be a championship and have another one uh, possibility for the boys? It's just like awesome and it's very like, shows how like strong Lyman can be and how much, how bad or strong we are. <laughs> it's so hard to believe, especially after losing eight seniors and um, it, it just seems so unreal for us to be able to come back and we're just so lucky to be able to have this experience and I, it's so hard to believe. I, it hasn't like sent, sunk in yet. Does it feel like unfinished business from last year to where you were now? To for sure. It, you play? What's it mean to be out here playing right now? It means so much. After last year, it was a hard season for me. I blew out my knee, and then having it unfinished with COVID, it just means so much to be able to come back and win it all. You're a part of state history. You're part of uh, a state championship that can never take away. What's it mean to part, be part of history? Oh, I don't even know. It's it's crazy to like even think about. I, uh, It's hard to wrap my brain around. You're, you're the boys have a chance to win a championship right after this. What would it mean to, for boys and girls to, to win a state I think it would today? mean so much to the whole school, especially the boys, after winning football this year. And I think it would just mean so much. For It, mean, it would mean so much to me that they even push their butt after losing the Ray in the regular season like us to win now. And I think it would be amazing. And it would be a huge thing for Lyman. What is it about Lyman? Boys, boys championship football, girls basketball now, chance for boys. What's to say about Lyman, your small community for, for school? I think it just puts us on the map, shows that we aren't a pushover and that we may be small, but we can fight a hard battle. Uh, congratulations.